Hi, this is Rena from Happy Downloads, and I'm making a beginner's video to show you how to use your digital planner in Notability app. Um, so firstly, to import the planner into the app, you need to go to Safari app and um, go to Etsy and go to your purchases section where you can download all of your digital purchases. Um, or alternatively, you can go to your email where um, Etsy will have emailed you all of your download links. So first of all, you'll see something like this. You'll see all of your files. Just tap on the one that you want. And when this comes up, you need to tap on the share icon at the top. Scroll through the icons until you find copy to notability. Create new note. Import. And now this is imported in. So in notability, to scroll um, to, through the pages, it's up and down. Okay, so up and down like this. And then to go back, you need to go the other way. So this is the main home page, which means that um, every page in the planner is, let me just get rid of this, every page in the planner is hyperlinked onto this page. So to use the hyperlinks, you need to tap on the T icon at the top. And then let's say I wanted to go to June, you need to just tap on the hyperlink and go to page. And to access the weekly pages from the monthly view, you just need to tap on the grey squares at the beginning of each week and go to page. So just a word of note, um, if you have purchased an undated planner, you will not have any of these dates pre-written in your monthly view, and you will also not have dates in your weekly view. You will just have Monday instead of Monday 1st of June. So what you need to do in that case, you just need to set this up before you use it. However, the good point is that you can then reuse an undated planner year after year. So just to set this up, you need to tap on your pen icon. If you tap on that again, you can then see different pen options, different widths and different colours. So once you've picked the one that you want, you just need to zoom in on the page and let's pretend that these dates were not here. You just need to write that in yourself. If you make a mistake, you can use the back button here. If you hold it down, you then have the option to redo. Or you can use the eraser tool. Once again, if you double tap, you can see some different options in here. And yeah, that's it. Um, so next, I think I will mention um, how to use stickers. So you can import the stickers file in the same way. So if I go back to the Etsy page, so I've already imported um, stickers part one. So it's broken out into two parts because of the size of the file. Um, but it's yeah basically the same. You're going to tap on the file and then once it's opened up, just give it a moment. You're going to tap on the share icon at the top, scroll through, and you want the one that says copy to notability. And then add a subject and just give it a moment. And now this is opened up. So to see all the pages, you can tap on this icon at the top here and you can see the sticker pages. This is part two. And then earlier I imported part one in here. So Notability does have some limitations when it comes to using stickers. Um, for example, you can't, um, not to my knowledge, like batch select an entire page of stickers. However, you can use them individually. So let's say that you wanted to add um, a particular sticker to your um, planner page. You can tap on the um, scissors icon at the top tap on the sticker you want, tap on copy, and then go back into your planner, long press on the page, and then tap on paste, and then this will come through. So then you can resize the sticker, you can rotate it, and you can crop it as well. So then you can just place this anywhere you like. And just come off of that. And then to move it again, same again with that, um, scissors icon, you can then move this. So when you have more than one sticker, it's the sticker that goes on top that will show on top, if that makes sense. So if you want to reorder your stickers, you just need to select one, cut and paste it so that it goes over the top. Um, next, um, I can mention, okay, so the tabs down the left hand side, um, to explain these, these are empty divider pages where you can add your own pages for easier access. So let's say that um, 
let me just go to one to show you. So at the beginning, these will all be blank. So there's divider one, two, and three, and so on. And there's nothing between the pages, but the idea is that you can put any pages you want behind these dividers for easier access. So let's say that I wanted to add, um, I wanted to make section one about habits and I want several pages of habits. So I'm going to get to the, I'm going to pick the page that I want. So let's say that I wanted um, several pages of this habit tracker within my section one. So what I'm going to do is tap on the um, icon at the top here. And then these three squares icon here, you can tap on copy. And then you're going to go to your section one. And then you're going to tap on the three squares and tap on paste. And you can see that this has now added your habit tracker to your section one. And if you want that page again, you can then tap on it, tap on copy and tap on paste. Now there is a limitation in notability, which means that um, when you copy a page from the index page and then you write on it, then when you go back to the um, home page, sometimes when you tap on that original hyperlinked page, it then takes you to the new page that you've duplicated and written on. But if that happens, all you need to do, you can still duplicate the page with all the content on it. You just then need to tap on the three squares and tap on clear page and that will give you a blank page. Um, okay, so, all right, so I've added, um, so I've added section, um, so to my section one, I've added my habit tracker. Okay, so I'm just going to title my section. So you can use um, text boxes. So within the text boxes, you can tap, you can handwrite this or you can use the um, text box function. So you can then change the font in here. If you tap in the middle of that, select all, you can then make this bigger or smaller. You can then change the font as well. So, and then you can then just move that around. And then I'm going to go back to my home page. So you can't rename the names of the um, number tabs down the side, but to, if you forget what they you know, what section they correspond to, you just need to refer back to the, um, to the home page. So I'm just going to write habits here. So then let's say that I am um, using, I don't know, my calendar page, and then I want to access my habits. All I have to do then is just tap on my section one and there's my habit tracker section. And if I forget which section corresponds to, you know, which page, I can just go to the home page and they should all be written down here. Um, so yeah, I hope that's a kind of a really basic overview of how to use um, Digital Planners and Notability app. Um, yeah, please uh, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching.